Lesson 2, Vowels, Diphthongs, and Breathing Marks. So I'm going to write out some of the vowels. I'm going to switch screens here. We're going to go with our alpha, epsilon, iota, omicron, upsilon. And we also have eta and omega. Now I wrote it out like this because sometimes our epsilons are going to lengthen into an eta. The alphas will sometimes lengthen into an eta. And the omicron is going to be lengthening into an omega. Okay. Now the eta and the omicron are always long. which means that these are going to be always short and our alpha, iota, and upsilon are going to be sometimes long and sometimes short and those are not going to be distinguished. Now we're going to talk about diphthongs which is essentially when two of these vowels are put together. And the most obvious example I can give you in the English is the word oil. So the O and the I, the Omicron and the Iota are going to sound like oi in oil. And we have other combinations here. We've got I'll kind of like Au House. Here's the German various variations on that. EI, Epsilon Iota Height. We've got the OU as in group, an EU as in feud, and here we have an Eta Upsilon, similar in sounds to this because that epsilon lengthened into a eta. And this one is the most unusual, the upsilon iota. It sounds like we. Now something we're going to talk about the iota is when you put these vowels together, sometimes that iota is going to run underneath the letter. And that's called the subscript. Here, let me zoom in for you. It's called an iota subscript, and I'll write these out on my paper for you also. So here we have an alpha with an iota subscript. I just make like a corner. It doesn't really look like an I. Here we have an eta with an iota subscript, and the omega with an iota subscript. So those subscripts do not change the sound of the letter, but it's important to know what an iota subscript is. Number five is going to introduce the breathing mark, and the breathing mark is really going to be the sound H, or it's going to exclude the sound H in front of a vowel. So the breathing, for the rough breathing, that's going to include the H sound, and I'm going to write this horos. So here's our Omicron. And I usually write these at the end of when I write the letters, I then write the breathing marks and the accents. So it's going to kind of that way. So really this sounds like horos with an H. Now that's the English there. Here's another example with a diphthong. We have the two vowels here and the, notice that the breathing mark is over the second vowel.
Hurisco. Hurisco. And if we don't want to include the H sound, it's going to be called a smooth breathing. And that one's going to go that way. And we have this word, Akuo, here. That's the smooth breathing. And here's another example. Uranos. And here, he, Mr. Davis is telling us that the initial upsilon always has the rough breathing mark. Part six will include um, lesson two exercise.